Mr. Moser here. Today I thought I'd show you how to use up your scrap strips, two and a half inch strips to be exact. This is Ribbon Twist, just a little freebie PDF download pattern I've put together. This is a baby quilt size and it just uses up random two and a half inch strips, which if you're like me, you probably have a bunch of those laying around. You jelly rolls, you've always got odds and ends left over, so why not use them up? So all it is, is two strips sewn together I've got, got, got a colored one and a neutral one, and I did a couple of these, and it, the whole quilt takes 12, or you can make it bigger or smaller, that's fine too, and um, I did 42 inch strips, so these are full width of fabric, salvage to salvage, but you could just use up, you know, smaller chunks too. Basically, we need A blocks and B blocks, so you'll sew your two strips together like this. I press my seams open, I'm a big fan of that and it makes for very flat blocks. So because I press my seams open, I also diminish my stitch length down to 2.0 because we're gonna cut across these and you don't want those stitches popping, uh, popping loose. So what we've got here is I'm gonna call this strip set A and I'm using the Creative Grids uh, 60 degree diamond mini ruler. So that's the size that this one is done in. Of course, you could use the large ruler if that's what you have. You would just be using the four and a half inch lines on the large ruler. So, but we will use the whole size of the mini. Okay, so first things first. You've got your ruler here. We're gonna use the triangle lines. These are the black dashed lines that come across the ruler. So if you're looking at it this way, you have four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, and one and a half. So we're gonna use the four and a half inch line. So I am gonna bring it down from the light side. So my tip, is going to be dark or colored in this case. So I've got the four and a half inch line and the flat tip all the way across and you just cut. This is your starting cut. And you need one of these at the top or bottom of each row. So set that aside. Now I'm turning the ruler to the side. So where it was coming triangle, triangle, if you turn it the long way, then you get diamonds. So here, the whole strip four and a half inches, that is the whole ruler. So I'm gonna turn it down the strip and line it up. That fresh cut should end up on one side of the ruler and then go down the other side here. And I'm just gonna take these tips off. You take all those little tips off and it just makes the piecing process so much easier later on. Now I just move the ruler again, just like this. If you've got full uh, width of fabric strips, you should be able to get seven of these diamonds and one triangle. So if you're just using up scraps or fat quarter length strips, of course you would need to uh, make some more strip sets right here. So all it is is just cut, snip, snip, and then slide the ruler down the strip to get the next cut. Okay, you get the idea. So all of these blocks, you're gonna have a nice pile of these, hopefully of a variety of colors. So we are gonna call these A and the triangles that are also there. All right, so next color, same thing. My neutral white background, it's a different one because I'm just using up scraps in my colored strip. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm starting with my triangle cut. And now instead of coming in from the light side, which is up here, where my point is the darker one, I'm gonna turn it, I'm starting this direction. This way I have the color is the long piece. And the light neutral makes the tip. And what this also does is it changes the direction of the ruler. So before I was cutting where the angles continued to be up and to the right, now I turn the ruler the long way on the strip and the angle is gonna be up and to the left. That's important. You need some of each to build these rows. And then again, I'm just cutting on the side of the ruler and snipping the little flat tips off. Work my way down the strip. So we're going to call these ones B. So 
So we will have sets of A and sets of B. And one more cut. Just so you get the idea. Okay. Set these aside. I've got quite a few of these already cut actually, so the next thing I get to show you is the layout. So here's what you have, if you notice. Your B blocks, the color goes up and to the left. Your A blocks, the color goes up and to the right. That's important. Keep those in two stacks. Make lots and lots of strip sets. Cut your blocks. You'll end up with your triangles. One that's got the long piece or the wide end is the light. The other one is the dark or the color. I'm going to set this aside and show you how to do this layout. So, let's start with the B blocks. This one, I'm going to start here. Go this way with it. Oh, you could do the other way too. This gives you some idea. All right. Here, side by side, B, B, B. I'm going to grab the other color. That's also a B block. I kind of did, you can see, I did sort of this gradiating color all the way up. You don't have to. If you're using true scraps and you're just odds and ends, you don't have to do any color planning. I had one full strip of each of these colors, and so that's how I could um, kind of do a little planning. All right, here's another B. And I'm going to go one more row. Okay, those are all my B blocks. Now fill in with A blocks. So here we have the color. See how that's creating kind of a zigzag? Set these aside. Let's go with the bright. like that. Okay, so how to square it off here at the bottom? What we need are the triangles. Now we have a flat bottom. And across the other end, you get the other set of triangles. To create the top and bottom. Okay, something like that. So you see how this color just kind of zigzags its way on up? All it is, it's alternating A blocks, B blocks, A blocks, B blocks. So you don't actually sew them together top to bottom like this. That would require inset seams or Y seams. So what you're gonna do, that's row one, here's row two. You're gonna sew them in diagonal rows. So just gentle diagonal rows like this. So while you laid them out point to point, you're actually sewing flat side to flat side here. Do you see how that works? So here's a gentle diagonal row. So you end up with all of those colors sewn to each other as you're sewing that row. And here's a trick. When you're doing this, what you end up with is the side that the seam comes down to, that's a biased edge. It will hit up against a non-seamed edge just a straight of grain edge. So when you go to join these blocks, here's a trick. You take this, these two and you're gonna sew this seam here, turn this one on top, and you sew with your straight of grain edge, the non-seamed edge, towards your pressure foot. And that means that the biased edge, or the, the one where the seam comes down, is gonna to be towards your feed dogs. Biased edge will stretch just a little bit, so your feed dogs will work to ease that up and you don't have to worry about it stretching out away from the other block. That'll keep your uh, your rows in nice in nice form, and because we took those flat tips off, you see how nice that is. You've got a flat tip matchup point here and a flat tip matchup point here. You sew your quarter inch seam, press that seam open. That will make for really flat intersections, and then you go to add the next one. And now when you're adding this one, you keep the white piece up towards your feed dogs, so your biased edge is still down. Whenever possible, put the biased edge towards your feed dogs. You won't have to worry about the stretching. So you're going to sew these into rows, just like this. 
and then you sew the rows to each other. Boop, 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 all the way across. You'll end up with sort of a zigzag outside edge on the right and left side. So once it's all sewn together, give it some nice spray starch, press it out really well, and then you can trim that off. And you can even wait until after quilting to trim that off. It's not, uh, it's not necessary to do before before quilting. But isn't that fun? Just a way to use up your scraps. Any neutrals, you know, I've got a, a variety of different um, neutral background strips and then a variety of different colors. And all you need is some of this and some of that and just A blocks and B blocks and we'll put it all together. So like I said, this is a free PDF download. So if you just go to kristamoser.com and click on um, tutorials tab, you'll see the free patterns area and this is going to be one of them. Also in today's blog, we've got some other tips and tricks and some things with the fabric bundles that I've been working with. Scraps, you can use anything, but if it's something you want to use some of the colors like what I talked about or what I showed here, then um, we have a few of those available. Okay, we'll put this stuff in the, in the description box below. So a link to the pattern, you would want the mini ruler. Um, you can do it with the large ruler as well. Like I said, you would just be using the four and a half inch line. So it's kind of on the small end of the larger ruler. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Use up your scraps. Make something fun and cute and useful. Thanks for watching.